Disclaimer. Everything you're about to see in this video is from an early build of Mortal Kombat 11. Everything is subject to change and may be different once you get your hands on it later this year. Huge thanks to Warner Bros UK for giving us the opportunity to get hands on time and capture this footage. I have no words for you. Because I'm so stunning. Because you are going to die. Finish her! Mortal Kombat 11 gameplay has finally been revealed, and Ketchup and myself were fortunate enough to get time with the game the day before our commentary at the MK Reveal London event. Using our knowledge of the game so far, we wanted to go over some of the characters that were playable in the build, starting with Sub-Zero. These won't be character guides as such, as of course the game won't be playable for a while yet, however we at least wanted to give a basic overview of some of these characters, what their available moves were, and our general two cents, and what we think of them so far. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero returning is no huge surprise, however he has been completely revamped, yet still familiar. Sporting an all new look across a large selection of customizables, we expect longtime Sub-Zero fans will be eager to get their hands on him once again. Sub-Zero appears to have a strong selection of normal attacks, which made him simple to just pick up and play. In a game with a ton of new features, his strings felt very familiar. 124 is a standard high starting 3 hit string, safe on block and special cancelable after the second hit. Back 143 is a string with great range off the starting back 1. This was a good way of whiff punishing your opponent into specials or to just finish the string for damage. Forward 24 is an overhead starting string dealing decent damage by itself, but the forward 2 is special cancelable, and would only combo into Ice Ball when amplified with the Deep Freeze ability. Back 321 is a low starting string, decent on block, and much like the other strings, is special cancelable after the second hit. Back 21 launches after the first hit into a follow up that knocks your opponent away. Using just the back 2 by itself does allow for some slight juggles. Finally, his forward 4 is one of his most interesting normal attacks, covering huge distance and strong all round. Overall, Sub-Zero strings seem versatile, with tidy built-in mix-ups between the unsafe overhead and a safe low, combined with strong ranged options and fast highs. <laughs> Your kin descended from Outworld. How would you know that? You have the blood of Cryomancers. With MK11 having an emphasis on custom variations, this build featured a number of different moves available to each character, with variations pre-made for demo purposes. Players were still able to create their own custom variations, and we were able to see every move available to these characters and see what they were all about. Universally, Sub-Zero of course has his Ice Ball, it still freezes the opponent for a free follow-up and still does so in the air. The Ice Ball can be amplified with the Deep Freeze ability, making it much faster and blow through enemy projectiles. The slide returns as we all remember it. A fast low, useful for mobility, punishing and for ending combos, especially when amplified for a generous damage extension. The Cold Shoulder also returns from the 3D games, doing great damage especially when amplified, though this replaces the slide. Creeping Ice is a special that staggers the opponent on hits and can be amplified to keep your opponent blocking, behaving similar to the Shatter in MKX. Ground Ice returns from older Mortal Kombat games as well, however it starts up incredibly slow compared to versions we've seen in the past. The regular version will give you significant advantage, whereas the amplified version enables you to combo from it. Rising Ice causes Sub-Zero to launch himself straight up into the air and his opponent with him. The amplified version makes Sub-Zero recover much faster, allowing you to juggle from it. Frigid Storm and Deathsicle Barrage enable Sub-Zero to gain new projectile attacks, both covering different ranges at various speeds. Arctic Trap is where things get interesting. This appears to be Sub-Zero's equivalent to his classic Ice Clone that we'll see in MK11 with some key differences. 
Sub-Zero summons this trap in front of him instead of in place, and does have some hefty startup and recovery to it. However, it will still freeze the opponent on contact and does enable for the usual trickiness. As a direct comparison, however, it's actually much more similar to Boraicho's enhanced crop duster from MKX. Finally, Sub-Zero's Fatal Blow is a straight swipe that is incredibly easy to combo into, and much in line with the other Fatal Blows, does extreme damage. An easy way to bag fantastic damage and close out a round. Out of all the characters in the build, Sub-Zero definitely felt like one of the more familiar picks. His versatility in terms of special moves combined with his advancing normals made him a solid starting point that felt very capable. We're excited to see how he develops through the year, and we hope you have all enjoyed this first look as to what you could expect from Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 11. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Fatality.